Hey ninth graders, welcome back to your videos. And in this video for chapter three, lesson six, we're going to be doing arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic is the process of adding or subtracting numbers. Our goals, we have three goals today, and hopefully by the end of this lesson, you feel like you can do all three goals. So our first goal is to establish a pattern of either adding or subtracting. If we don't have a pattern of adding or subtracting, then it's not an arithmetic sequence. The next um, thing we have to do is we have to tell the next three numbers in an arithmetic sequence. We have to be able to tell what are the next three numbers if we have an arithmetic sequence. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to write an equation of arithmetic sequence. So these are our three goals for this lesson. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you feel like you can do these. Let's go ahead and start our first question. All right, so one of the first examples that we're going to be doing is we're going to be examining whether or not um, we have an arithmetic sequence in our example. So in example one, we have the numbers negative 13, negative 11, negative 9, negative 7. And we have to say, does this have a pattern? Because that's what sequences do. They have patterns. So this does have a pattern. And if it does, what is the pattern? Because in order to be an arithmetic sequence, the pattern has to be adding or subtracting the same number. So we're looking. How do I go from a negative 13 to a negative 11? Well, I add 2. How do I go from negative 11 to negative 9? I add 2. And how do I go from negative 9 to negative 7? I add 2. And since we're adding the same number every time, this is an arithmetic sequence. So our first goal is to be able to tell whether or not there is an arithmetic sequence um, and finding out the pattern. So this is an arithmetic sequence because we have adding or subtracting the same number. That means that 2 is called our common difference. And our common difference is the difference from one number to the next number. So 2 is our common difference. It is two spaces away to the next number. And in order to be an arithmetic sequence, we have to be adding or subtracting the same number, and it has to be a continuous pattern. So let's go ahead and look at another example. All right, this one, our example is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Hopefully you might know that the next number is 32, but this is also not going to be an arithmetic sequence because if you can tell the pattern, it does have a pattern, which sequences have patterns, but this is not arithmetic because in order to go from 1 to 2, you would be adding 1 arithmetic. Going 2 to 4, you'd be adding 2. Going 4 to 8, you'd be adding 4. And going 8 to 16, you'd be adding 8. But we might be able to tell what type of sequence this is later on in the year. So I will teach you how to figure out this type of sequence. But this one is not an arithmetic sequence because we're adding different numbers. In order to be arithmetic, we have to add or subtract the exact same number. In our next type of example, our job is to continue on for three more numbers. So we have to be able to tell the next three numbers in this arithmetic sequence. And if you read the directions, it says, tell me the next three numbers in the arithmetic sequence. So the directions itself are telling us that it is an arithmetic sequence. We just have to say what comes after these numbers. So looking at this, it goes 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So if I figure out the difference from here to here, which is plus 2, figure out the difference from here to here, that's plus 2, then it should be continuously the same, always adding 2. 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 2 is 13. So all i got to do is add 2 three more times to each answer I get. 13 plus 2 would be 15, 15 plus 2 would be 17, and 17 plus 2 would be 19. And this would be the next three terms of my arithmetic sequence. So whenever we're told to find the next three numbers in arithmetic sequence, all we do is continue the pattern on with three more numbers. So that's our goal, too. Let's continue on, do one more of this time. All right, so here's our next example, example five. We're still telling the next three numbers of the arithmetic sequence. So to go from negative three to negative six, you actually have to go back three more spaces. So that's subtracting three. To go from negative 6 to negative 9, we still subtract 3. And to go from negative 9 to negative 12, we subtract 3. So negative 12 minus 3 more, the next number would be negative 15. Negative 15 minus 3 more is negative 18. And negative 18 minus 3 more is negative 21. And these would be the next three numbers of the sequence. 
Hopefully you guys are getting a good grasp on number one. Is it arithmetic pattern by adding or subtracting the same number? And goal number two, can we tell the next three numbers? Let's move on to goal three. All right, so in order to be able to do arithmetic sequences, we need to know a few things. We need to know the equation of arithmetic sequence. It's a of n equals a1 plus, in parentheses, n minus 1 times d. n minus 1 means whatever term we're looking at or whatever place it comes in the pattern. So if it's the third number, that's the third term. If it's the fourth number, that's the fourth term. So whatever place it comes in the pattern of the numbers, it, that term goes right there. So d is the common difference. a1 means the very first number in the pattern that you see. So when given a pattern in an arithmetic sequence, what we need to do is we need to establish what the first number is, what the common difference is, and then we have our equation for arithmetic sequences for any pattern in the world, as long as we know this equation. So this is one of those things that we need to try to learn to memorize an equation. The equation is a of n equals a1 plus n minus 1 in parentheses times d. So we're going to go ahead and look at how to use this. Make sure you get this down because now I'm going to show you how to use it. All right. So in this example, our goal is to be able to write the equation of an arithmetic sequence. So this is goal three. We talked about goal one, establishing whether or not something is an arithmetic sequence. We talked about goal two, continuing on for three numbers. And now we're on to goal three. Can we write the equation of what we're seeing? And hopefully, if you pay attention, you get this down, you should be able to write an equation of any arithmetic sequence. Given any pattern of numbers, we can write our equation. So that's our big goal for today's lesson. So what we do is we establish how do we go from each one. So we're still finding the common difference. So to go from 10 to 15, we add 5. 15 to 20, still add 5. 20 to 25, we add 5. So this right here tells me that my common difference is D. Our common difference is 5, which in this case, it's D. So our D in this equation is going to be the number 5. Now, the A1 is one of those things that we saw in our previous slide that just shows the A1 is the first number in our sequence. So our A1, the first number that I see in the sequence, is 10. So our A1 is 10. Now, these are the only two pieces of information you actually need to know to write an equation. You need to know the D and the A1. Now, having those two pieces of information, it's hard to understand why you need them, but once you actually know the equation, it's very good to understand why you need them, because our equation is this. A of any number equals A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and replace the things that we do know. So we're going to replace everything that we actually have given. Well, we're given the A1, so this is 10 plus n minus 1, and our d is 5, so times 5. So right here, just by doing this, we've already written the equation of an arithmetic sequence. The equation of arithmetic sequence means an arithmetic sequence of whatever term we're looking for is equal to the first term plus the term we're looking for, take away 1, times the common difference. So our first term is 10, and if we want to figure out what goes for each one of these, well, these are the terms. The first term is 10, the second term is 15, third term is 20, fourth term is 25. This right here is actually a B work, in my opinion, on being able to write the arithmetic sequence equation. Because all you had to do was replace two things. If you want an A, once you replace your two things, the next thing you have to do is distribute and combine like terms. So we take the 5 times N, that's 5N. Five, 5 times 1, that's negative 5. So really, our equation is A of N equals 10 plus 5N minus 5. Well, I can combine the 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5, that's 5. So our final equation is 
the arithmetic sequence is equal to 5 plus 5n. This right here is the actual equation. Now, if you get up to here, that's okay. That's most of the work. The only thing I did differently was I distributed the 5 and I combined like terms. This right here represents this pattern of numbers. The first number is 10. So I'm going to put a 1 right here. 5 times 1, that's 5. 5 plus 5, that's 10. First number is 10. Second number is 15. 5 times 2, that's 10. 10 plus 5, that's 15. Second number is 15. If I want to know the third number, that's 3. So I'm going to plug in 3 here. 5 times 3, that's 15. 15 plus 5, that's 20. Fourth number, 5 times 4, that's 20. Plus 5 is 25. The fourth number is 25. So this equation right here represents anything that we want to look at. So without even writing down 200 numbers, I can figure out what the 200 number is by putting 200 into this problem. 5 times 200, that is 1,000. 1,000 plus 5 is 1,005. So without continuing this pattern for 200 numbers, I just told you the 200 number. For our final example, I'm going to show you again how to write an equation for an arithmetic sequence. In this arithmetic sequence, we have the pattern of plus 2. So to go from 12 to 14, that's adding 2. 14 to 16, that's adding 2. And 16 to 18, that's adding 2. So we definitely know it's an arithmetic sequence because we're always adding the same number. So in this case, our common difference is 2. Now, we establish the first number. The first number is our A1. A1 is 12. So these are the two numbers that we need for this problem. We need to know the first number, and we need to know the common difference. Then we just need to know this equation. A of n equals A1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, to get a b, or to be able to at least write the basic equation, all we got to do is replace the a1, which is 12, and replace the letter d, which is 2. So this is a b. We've already written the equation. This is actually the equation. It's just not written in simplest form. So in order to get an a, we have to be able to distribute this and simplify it down. 2 times n, that's 2n. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So our equation is a of n equals 12 plus 2n minus 2. Well, the 12 and the negative 2 can go together. So 12 minus 2, that's 10. So our equation is a n equals, and I can put the 2 in first. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 2 in first, and then I have a positive 10. So our equation is 2n plus 10. Now let's check. The first term, or the number, our n equals, now if n is 1, 2 times 1, that's 2. 2 plus 10, that's 12. First number is 12. Second number, 2 times 2, that's 4. 4 plus 10, that's 14. 14 is the second number. Third number, 2 times 3, that's 6. 6 plus 10, 16. That's good to go. And finally, the fourth number. 2 times 4, that's 8. 8 plus 10, that's 18. So we've established that this equation does work for that pattern. So since it works for that pattern, we could figure out any number we wanted. If we want to figure out the 200, the 100, the 50, we don't actually have to continue the pattern for that many numbers. All we got to do is use an equation to predict what that next number is going to be. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys got the three goals. One, establish um, if it's an arithmetic sequence. Two, figure out the next three numbers. And the third part, write the arithmetic equation. But remember, you only have to replace two things in the actual equation. Replace A1, replace the D, distribute, and you're done.